All creeks and rivers flow into the ocean and somewhere deep in the ocean is the real wisdom. It is becoming more of a conscious focus of mine to find and document people who are doing things in this world to make a difference. At Mogo Wildlife Park, just a few hours south of Sydney, Managing Director and Zookeeper Chad Staples is one such individual who has found his way to help people find their better nature through a connection with exotic animals. One of the richest things that we can learn is that you'll always protect what you love. And so in the short amount of time that somebody can have at a wildlife park, if you can get them to make a connection with an animal that from that develops into an appreciation and hopefully even a love, it's amazing what will change on that singular level, which then becomes part of a community and then wider spread. And, and that's how real change can be made. To have the opportunity to capture on the new Fujinon XF23 F1.4 Mark II lens, even just a sense of his relationship with these animals is a privilege. Equivalent to a full frame 35mm lens, the Versatile 23 gives a more realistic human eye perspective to an image. This is important especially in documentary photography, where getting a true sense of a moment is critical. The work that I do in life, I always hope that it's a window for somebody to see something that they may not have seen before, to have an experience. And if people have a connection and they feel something, whether they're looking at it through a photograph or they're actually the person in the photograph, there's an energy, there's a story that's already telling itself. Early in the morning, Chad spent time with the meerkats. It was evident in the calm way he immersed himself with these intelligent beings that his affection for them was genuine. It is so rare and such a privilege to photograph animals like this at such close quarters. And with the 23mm on the X-Pro3, I couldn't have had a more versatile lens for this scene. The MOD of the Mark I was 28 centimetres, but the Mark II's minimum objective distance of 19 centimetres from the sensor and 9.8 centimetres from the front of the lens made it possible for me to capture Chad and his relationship with the meerkats while giving me the versatility to capture a meerkat's curious face in the lens. The shallow depth of field of f1.4 allowed for a stunning bouquet effect in the background and there was a reduction in the aberration. I am rough on my gear so lying in the dirt and getting dust on this water resistant lens was not a problem. Moving through the park, we were soon stopped in our tracks by the haunting song bursts from the largest of the endangered gibbon primate species, the cyan gibbons. At the giraffes, Chad eased himself calmly and respectfully into their company as they reached their elegant necks over the fence to greet him and his food bucket. The MK2 lens's linear motor gives the lens an incredibly fast autofocus, so much so that I barely noticed that I was using it. And I was impressed by the resolution of the images, which were outstandingly sharp. I think most people are seeking a deeper connection to something or someone or something that goes beyond words, even if they don't have an awareness of it yet. With Margie, Chad's deep bond with his lion cub is something special. His feelings for her are like a parent-child relationship, born from months of bottle feeding and 24-hour care from day one. Witnessing these unfolding moments of them together were beautiful to capture on the XF 23mm Mark II lens, with the fast autofocus not missing a beat. Fujifilm have always impressed me with the amount of quality they can pack into a lightweight and compact set of equipment. It's so versatile and it's so easy to travel with and it doesn't feel like you're even 
Well, sometimes I forget I'm even using a camera. Sometimes I feel like I'm so in the moment with my subjects that I forget that I'm even having to shoot with a camera. It just becomes an extension of myself. And to me, that's the, that is the mark of a really good product. There is no other brand out there, in my opinion, that feels like a real camera and that has been able to achieve this. At just 375 grams, the Mark II is no exception to the rule. It is barely noticeable on my X-Pro3. However, I don't think the same feeling could apply to a 50 kilos of lion cub who happily drapes herself over Chad's shoulder. Most people that have ever had any sort of relationship with an animal, even a pet animal, understands how enriching that is. To then be able to have that same type of relationship, even only for a moment, with a wild animal or a species that we certainly don't look at as domesticated, is next level. The tempo slowed in the presence of Jabari, an 11-year-old southern white rhino. In his contented calmness, Chad sat quietly on the ground beside him, simply sharing in his space. White rhinos were thought to be extinct at the end of the 19th century in Africa and are still at risk in the wild due to poaching for their horns. People have to feel something before they can take action and before they can feel a sense of responsibility. As Chad said, you always protect what you love. The original XF 23mm f1.4 Mark I is a good solid lens, but the new XF 23 f1.4 Mark II has taken it to the next level. With its increased resolution, faster autofocus and reduced aberration, this lens is such a versatile asset and valuable addition to any camera kit and will serve photographers from any genre well into the next decade.